Mr. Bear? No, my thanks. Um, is David out of surgery? Yeah. How is he? He's, uh, he's critical, but he's stable. He's got some major complications. None of this seems real. <laughs> well, it is real, and he's alive. Are you, uh, you're not really safe here. He's lying unconscious in a hospital bed. What's he gonna do to me? We thought he was dead and buried, but he ended up on Ryan's roof with a gun. I mean, clearly the guy will do anything to hold on to you, so you really should go. I want to see him. Hey. Hey, did you get some sleep? Yeah, a little bit. I took a sleeping pill. I still can't sleep in our bed. What? That's okay. I had a dream about Zach last night. I didn't want to wake up. Where are the boys? Uh, Speck and Miranda are at school, and uh, Gabby and Ian are with Sandra. I made you some tea, and I'll go get you some food, okay? No, I, I don't want to eat. I'm not hungry, honestly. I'm just... I just want to zone out. I don't want to talk. I don't want to think. I don't want to... I just want to veg out. I, you don't want to do that. Why not? Oh, thanks. What is going on? David was shot last night. Uh, he came back from Greenlee, and, and Ryan and him got into a fight. Is Ryan okay? Yeah, Ryan, Ryan's fine, so is Greenlee. How did David escape? Oh, he must have paid off a guard or something. Is David dead? Oh, he's in bad shape. But there is something else you should know. The shooter was mom. I can't stay here any longer. I am worried sick about Kendall. I just got a text from Bianca a little while ago. Kendall's still asleep, so... Oh, well, that's good, but she's going to wake up to this. Yeah. This? I mean, she just lost her husband. I don't know how much more she can take. And why is Jesse insisting on keeping me I don't here? know. I'm going to put a stop to it right now. You know what, Jack? This, this is ridiculous, okay? Erica has done nothing wrong. Yeah, I've had it too. Jesse, really? Look, this is no party for me either, Jackson, but I really need to understand the facts uh, Oh, okay. Well, the facts are we've been here all night. Erica has told you everything she knows repeatedly. Okay, I'm just going to give it to you one last time, okay? Jesse, really, I was on I was on my roof. Hayward pulls a gun on me. I knock the gun out of his hand. We fight. We struggle. I end up on the ledge. Hayward's hands around my neck. Erica walks out, and she does what she's got to do. I mean, the chances are she, she probably saved my life. You can go. I'll be in touch. All right, I'm going to go to the hospital and check on Madison. I want you to know that I will, I will do whatever I have to do to help Erica, okay? I That's appreciate promise. It. All right, all right. Jesse, sorry. But Erica has been cooperative. There's nothing more to do here, so we're leaving, all right? I told you, we're done, Jesse. And I still need to know, Erica, when you picked up the gun, did you give Hayward any kind of warning, or did you just shoot him? Don't answer that. What is wrong with you? You feel that you have to beat somebody up because you guys let Hayward escape? You're not going to beat this woman up. She's done. Oh, she's done when I say she's done. No, she's done right now. Pal. Okay, enough. Just let me go so I can be with my daughter. Either let me go or arrest me. You're under arrest.
love waking up next to you. Oh. Oh, that was the drugs talking. I, I didn't mean... I know, I know, I know. It's okay. I got, I, got, I got you some flour. Thank you. How are you feeling? My arm is killing me. What happened? You were shot. Shot? By who? By the man who will not die. If he wakes up, the first thing he's going to do is come looking for you. Chief, please. You should go away. You should get divorced. You should get a restraining order, move to Bora Bora, do whatever you have to do. But you should get away from here. Thank you for your concern. But I need to do this. to so many people. I know I hurt you. And I will always be sorry for that, but... How could you do it? Your mom thought that David might push Ryan off the roof, so she picked up the gun. Kendall. Are you getting any of this? This... Does Spike know about this? No. Uh, I, I don't think Brian would talk to him without speaking to you first. Right. right I'm sure you're right. But all the details haven't hit the news yet, but they will today, so... I gotta... I gotta go get dressed. Where are you going? I want to go to the police station, and I want to make sure Mom is okay. Well, Uncle Jack is with her. I, I can go. Well, then... No. Then we'll both go. Kendall... Are you sure you're up for this? Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Are you the doctor who's treating David Hayward? Yeah, I am. Who are you? Uh, Cortland. Caleb Cortland. And you like a chick. How's he doing? Well, he's not in the woods yet, but he's hanging in there. You a friend of his? No. And why are you asking me about his condition? Just, uh, curious. I don't know if he's going to make it. I mean, he's stable, but there's probably going to be more complications as the night goes. Yeah, it was great talking to you, too. Jesse, you're wasting precious time that I should be with my daughter. Okay, you've arrested me, so I will go now and I will bail myself out. No, Erica, he has no grounds for this arrest. I still don't have enough answers. You have all the answers you need, Jesse. You're just not listening. Eric shot at Hayward because he was trying to throw Ryan off the roof. You've got Ryan corroborating that. Ryan felt he was in imminent mortal danger. What Erica was in this case, she was a good Samaritan. If there was no history. Oh. Yeah, clear cut. But Hayward almost killed Erica in a plane crash. I know. And the man that hates Hayward the most is the man backing up your story. So you can see why I need to cover all my bases. And you can see that Erica was perfectly justified in what she did with, what with you. Well, I'm sorry, Jack. I can't just take your say-so. Excuse me. I, I need to work with you. I'm a little busy here, Liza. Unless, of course, you've come to let me know that the DA's office is not going to press charges. I need to talk with you now in private. Let's just be a minute. Don't you say a word to my client while I'm out of this room. Don't. What? I got a faxed copy of the letter. Jack, I'm sorry. I have no idea what you're talking about. But you did receive a letter from the State Supreme Court Disciplinary Board. Liza, I haven't been home. What was in the letter? They're suspending your license pending an investigation. What investigation is that? Jack, your assault on David yesterday. Oh, God, are you kidding me? I barely touched the guy. Oh, Jack, come on. I was 
was there. Liza, I knew. I knew he wasn't done with Greeny. I knew he was going to after I felt it, and I was right. Jack, you have every right to be angry, but you had no business being anywhere near David. You use your credentials to gain access, and then you assault the man while he's in custody? You are still on probation from your previous suspension. So the disciplinary board decided to act immediately. I have to get back to my client. No, you can't. Without a license, you are not allowed to represent Erica. Everything all right? I have a little legal business I have to take care of. Now? Yeah. Don't worry about it. It'll take long. Are you really going to go through with this, Jesse? Jackson, it's my job. Then do it right. No perp walk, no press conference. I, I, I want get it. your personal assurance that Erica will be treated with the utmost respect. You've got it. Okay, I will process her myself. You can stay right here for now. Can you just give us a minute? Will you be okay? Of course I will. I've got you on my side. David's plan to frame me for murder didn't really pan out. He came back for round two. It was up on my roof, he pulled a gun on me. We struggled over the gun, a shot was fired, and you were the unlucky person to take the hit. Well, maybe I'm lucky, huh? A few inches over, I would have been toast. You see, that's unbelievable to me. That you... You took a bullet, and you're still looking at the bright side of things. <laughs> well, I'm an optimist. Yes, you are. You definitely are. I always like that about you. I knew it was him. Who? I was on my way home to watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade on DVR. Yeah, yeah. I recorded it. Please refrain from comment. Hey, there's nothing cooler than a giant inflated Mickey Mouse. Exactly. I was, um, I was driving past your place when I saw David slipping inside. At least I, I thought I did. I mean, I, I told myself it had to be a mistake, but I, I couldn't take a chance. So, so I, I turned around and I pulled over and I was almost at the entrance to your building and I heard this loud pop. And then I, felt this intense burning in my arm and the, the rest it's well it's kind of a blur actually you were coming to warn me well i know how dangerous david is so a after everything you were trying to protect me and and in doing so you almost got yourself killed you're going to spend most of your life behind bars and I'm supposed to believe it's because of me. Because you love me so much. I wish you could have started over and been a better man. I know, I know that's impossible. The truth is, we'd all be better off if you died. You really believe that? Hey. Hi. I couldn't reach anybody. Jesse, keep you at the station all night? Kayla yeah, Berg has been arrested for attempted murder. What? Oh, it'll never stick. I can't help. She needs you. 